Hey there, guys. I'm Renee. I am the owner and artist behind Chicly Reclaimed Decor, and I'm also a member of Pink Couture's creative team. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you how I transformed this old window into this shabby chic inspired piece of home decor using Pink Couture products, decoupage, iron orchid designs, paint inlays, and so much more. So if that is something you'd be interested in learning, guys, stick around because that is what I'll be going over today. So after thoroughly cleaning this piece with Pink Couture's TSP base solution, I am going to be using um, Pink Couture's Premium Plus 2-in-1 Bonding and Blocking Primer to prepare these two glass panels on the left and right um, to be painted. We are actually going to be decoupaging them. Don't forget to stir your product thoroughly before you begin. And I'm going to be using um, Pink Couture's 2-inch synthetic brush and the capital crafts, excuse me, jewelry box brush to apply it. Um, when you are decoupaging, you want to lay down a nice white base so the colors in your decoupage can show through. And we are going to be using um, these two beautiful decoupage papers by AB Studios. I will put the names of these decoupage papers as well as a full product list down in the description below, as well as my affiliate link, just in case I inspire you to try out any of these amazing Pink Couture products that I'm highlighting here today. And I am actually just going to be using whatever is left over on my paintbrush after painting the two panels white to add a layer of white paint to my wood frame. And because I'm going for a weathered, distressed look, I'm not worried about getting full coverage with each successive layer of different colored paint that I'm adding. Next up, I'm going to be brushing on a layer of sea glass. The nice thing about this is that you're going to be coming back later and distressing it. So you're going to be revealing all these different colors. And I also like that if you add your paint on sloppy or if you get brush strokes, it really adds to that shabby chic farmhouse feel. So this is a really easy and fun paint look to achieve. Next up, I'll be following that same process to add angel eyes. Again, this is part of Pink Couture's acrylic mineral style of paint. And you definitely don't need to add as many layers as I am, but I really want there to be peaks of different colors that are going to match the decoupage paper and the paint inlays that I will be adding later on. This color right here that I'm adding is actually a custom mixed color of candlelight and Caribbean coral. And this is what we are looking at so far after I've added all those layers of paint. And next up, we are going to be distressing this piece with, I'm going to be using an 80 grit sandpaper to distress by hand. I feel like I have a little bit more control over how much or how little paint I take off. And my favorite thing about this technique is, as you can see on the right hand side, um, the grain in the wood is naturally raised. So when I sand back, it brings out that natural wood grain look. I absolutely love that about this technique. And these are the results after I was all finished sanding. You can definitely see all the beautiful layers of color that we have added. And now to finish off this weathered paint design, we are gonna be glazing over top of this wood. We're gonna be using both Amber Honey and Verde Green. These glazes by Pink Couture double as a wood stain. And that is what we are going to be using them for here. You are going to want a chip brush or a brush to apply them and I'm going to be using a um, old towel um, if you had paper towels um, to wipe off any excess clays. Um, that would work fine too. And I always wear gloves because this stuff can stain pretty well, hence the name. And I am using both of these colors because I'm going for kind of a duotone um, aged paint look. But you don't have to use two colors. You can get away with just doing one. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna wipe back any excess glaze that is on top and as you can see, it not only stains the exposed wood grain, but it also stains and gives age to the paint layers that we have added. And here's a comparison of what it looked like before we added the stain and then after. 
And if you're liking this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Paint Couture channel so you can be notified when the Paint Couture team uploads new tutorials. Now that the wood frame is done, we're ready to start preparing our decoupage rice paper to be used. I am going to be using um, a wet paintbrush to wet down the edge of this rice paper so I can easily tear it to remove this bottom half here. To compensate for the size of the glass panels, I'm gonna be using two of these decoupage papers of the same design. And by doing this, I create a nice feathered edge so the edges on these two papers will blend nicely together. And then I just followed that same process for the other set of decoupage papers that I'll be using. Next up, as you can see, these decoupage papers are just a little too wide for these glass panels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my finger along the edge and it's gonna create a crease and that's gonna make it easy for me to take a wet paintbrush and glide it along the edge of the decoupage paper, wetting it down, again, making it very easy for me to tear. At this stage, I'm not worried if the decoupage paper tears a little bit more um, than it should because eventually I want this decoupage paper to look like it is old wallpaper. Like it's wallpaper in an old house that has cracks um, and it even has like kind of darker um, grunge around the edges, just kind of build up as something naturally would like wallpaper over the years. My inspiration for this part of the design actually came from um, Bannock. It is a ghost town here in Montana where I live. And um, if you look at the wallpaper in some of the old houses, it kind of reminds me of this technique and how it turns out in the end. And here I'm measuring to find the middle on this glass panel. So these decoupage papers match up nicely in the middle on both the right and the left on um, this design. To apply these decoupage papers, I'm gonna be using Pink Couture's Extreme Guard Satin Top Coat. You can use any top coat that um, they have. You can also use their decoupage medium. Just be sure to stir your top coat thoroughly before you apply it. And I am going to be using a Capital Crafts two inch um, brush to apply this medium. I'm also just gonna be reusing the little sleeve that these decoupage papers came in. Um, this is going to help me to push out any air bubbles and to smooth out my decoupage paper as I go along. I mean, this video is about repurposing and reusing, right? So, so I'm going to lay down a layer of this top coat and then um, lining the paper up with the middle that I have marked, I'm gonna start at one end and then working from one side to the other, I'm gonna use that little piece of plastic to lay down this decoupage paper and to smooth out any wrinkles and push out any air bubbles. And then I'm gonna finish it off by brushing the top coat over top. And I'm just gonna continue on with that process to adhere the rest of this decoupage paper. Up next, we are gonna be using these beautiful paint inlays. These are by Iron Orchid Designs. And I'm gonna use them to decorate that middle window panel. And I'm just gonna go about cutting these inlays to fit. Which is super easy because they have these grid-like lines that run throughout, so you can make sure that you cut it evenly and with straight lines. And my inspiration behind decorating these three panels three different ways actually came from a patchwork quilt. These designs may be different, but all three of them have pink, so it makes it so the design flows and it is cohesive. To apply these designs, you're going to need a mister bottle. I like to use a sponge to press down the inlay, and I'm gonna be using Pink Couture's Extreme Guard Top Coat 
to embed these paint inlays into. So first things first, you're gonna want to mist the paint side of your inlay. And then you're going to want to add a nice thick layer of your top coat onto the glass. I'm gonna lay down my wet inlay paint side down onto my surface. And then when I have it where I want it, I'm gonna spritz it with my water bottle and I'm gonna use my sponge to gently but firmly press this inlay into place. After a couple hours, your inlay should be nice and dry and it is ready to be removed. So you are going to spritz this with your misting bottle and then um, very gently you're going to start lifting it up. I find it helpful to start at one corner and, and work my way to the other. And then you just pull the inlay from one side to the next. And if you feel like your inlay is at all resisting you, um, just spray it again with some more water and then go about pulling. Next up to add some age to the decoupage paper that we're trying to make look like old wallpaper. We are going to be using Pankator's uh, two-part crackle. Um, so first off, you're going to start with part one, which is their size medium. And it's called size because the thicker you lay this medium on, the thicker and more pronounced your cracks will be. And the thinner you put it on, the more you will get more like fine line crackle. So as you can see here, I'm putting it on mainly the bottom and the corners here, and I'm gonna continue doing that in all four corners on this piece. After about an hour or so, um, your step one should become tacky to the touch, and that is when you know what you are ready to start adding your step two. And that is what I'm doing here. I'm adding the crackle step two directly over the crackle step one that we put on earlier. And within a few minutes, you can start seeing some of the crackles start to develop as you see here. So next up, again, we're gonna be using Pink Couture's Amber Honey Glaze. We are gonna be using this to accent and bring out the cracks here. This is one of my favorite things to do. So I'm just taking a cheap chip brush and I am brushing this glaze over top of the areas where we have added the crackle. And then I'm gonna take a rag, you could use a paper towel, and I'm gonna wipe off any excess glaze that is remaining on top here. And as you can see, the glaze got into those cracks and really accented them. And it also helped me to attain that aged, kind of grungy look that I was going for with this faux uh, aged wallpaper look. I know I've mentioned it many times, but I love that this glaze is water-based. So if I put too much on and I'm not liking the look, I can just spray it with water and that makes it that much easier for me to remove this glaze. To get just the amount and the look that I want. Let's just say glaze is a maze. I love this stuff. If you haven't tried it, guys, I highly recommend it. And then lastly, I'm gonna be using Picator's Extreme Guard Top Coat to not only seal these paint inlays, but to also seal the decoupage and the weathered wood finish. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Renee, I'm the owner and artist behind Chicly Reclaimed Decor, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial where we showed you how to repurpose an old window into a unique shabby chic farmhouse style piece of home decor using Pankator products. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Pankator channel.